This year, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has been tested unlike ever before, both by an infectious disease that has killed more than 250,000 Americans and by a White House seeking to control the message around the public health crisis. In our Sunday Focus, NBC News White House correspondent Jeff Bennett speaks with a group of insiders about the state of the CDC as it manages the latest surge in coronavirus and looks ahead to a new administration. The CDC has been at the forefront of the pandemic response and under fire after months of mixed messages, political pressure and public gaffes about COVID-19, creating cracks in the country's public health armor as coronavirus cases surge. CDC has lost its voice as the lead on pandemics. Bob Commissure is a CDC advisor who retired from the agency after nearly four decades of service. I spent 35 years at CDC and I want to see CDC prosper and improve and get back to where it was before. Clayton Duncan previously served as the agency's acting chief operating officer. I was there 21 and a half years and that was definitely the thing that was one of our strengths that we lead with science. And Dr. Madeline Sutton is an epidemiologist and OBGYN who's worked in the CDC's AIDS Prevention Division. Three CDC insiders speaking out about the agency's path forward after an unprecedented effort to sideline science during the COVID crisis. Emails and documents obtained by NBC News show how the Trump White House pressed public health officials to fall in line with President Trump's political agenda, burying CDC reopening guidelines, watering down COVID guidance for cruise ships, churches and theme parks, even installing political operatives at the CDC to try to control the information it released. One veteran CDC staffer who wished to remain anonymous telling NBC News, the house is not only on fire, we're standing in ashes. The three of you represent decades of experience at the CDC. Has the agency ever been politicized in the way you say it has been under the Trump administration? I think during the uh, AIDS epidemic, we experienced a, a lot of barriers. And some of these political uh, opposition that we received actually resulted in greater infections. Even though we could have we could have saved more lives than we did, um, it was nothing. It pales, in, in, in my opinion, it pales in comparison to what we're experiencing now. Their concerns now turning to the presidential transition, with President Trump blocking the Biden team out of the government's pandemic planning. The biggest problem that the delay in briefing the incoming administration is the distribution plans for the vaccine. If we're not familiar with those plans, there'll be delays and mistakes in the distribution. While a new White House offers the CDC a new opportunity to regain public trust, one current staffer tells NBC News, I don't know if the damage to our reputation can be overcome with a new administration. I worry it's a permanent problem. What's the morale, what's the culture like now that there's been a new administration elected? It's almost like, um, like you can see a light at the end of the tunnel in terms of science being able to go further in terms of its reach. We all feel very excited and that help us is not too far away. And Jeff joins me now live. Jeff, good morning. Great to see you. I imagine one of the concerns about that erosion of trust in the CDC is what it may mean for the distribution of all these promising vaccines we heard about this week and really the willingness of some Americans even to take it. You're right about that, Willie. Public health experts we've talked to have made the point that ensuring the quick and equitable distribution of a COVID vaccine is a big enough challenge in itself, but a task that's made all the more difficult if public trust in public health agencies like the CDC is degraded. And there's a real concern that communities that need the vaccine the most will be reluctant to take it because they won't believe it's safe. So allowing the CDC to lead with science and allowing that agency to regain public trust, they say, is key. Willie? Mm. So interesting and so important to hear from those insiders you got on the record. Jeff, thanks so much. Great story.